I'm Derek Borman and thanks for watching Dynamic CRM Tips, a video series devoted to new product features, step-by-step -step instruction, and tips on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamic CRM 2015. In today's feature, we will be looking at one of the items released as part of the spring update for CRM Online 2015 called Email Folder Tracking. So from a user perspective, I have to configure folder tracking for my individual profile. And that's actually going to be done through the CRM interface, or I could do it through the Outlook client, depending upon which one I have set up. Now, in our case, we'll just go ahead and use the Outlook client. So if I come in here and I go to File and I go into CRM, and I click on options. This will open up my personal options. And underneath my personal options, if I click on email, I will see an option about halfway down that says configure folder tracking rules. When I click on configure folder tracking rules, this will show me all of the specific folders that I have email rules configured for from my exchange rule. Now, a couple of things that you need to know. First and foremost is the folders themselves have to be subfolders of the inbox. So you cannot just have a subfolder that is a subfolder of your mailbox as a whole it has to be underneath your inbox once a folder has been selected to be mapped it cannot be selected again so you'll notice that I have my one two three company ABC company those particular items cannot be mapped at that point because they already have a mapping in place the other thing is subfolders are not automatically included. So if you look at this particular situation where I have a mapping for one, two, three company, um, just because I have a folder for Jane that is underneath that one, two, three company doesn't mean that if I move emails to Jane, she's automatically going to be associated with one, two, three company. Each folder, even if it is a subfolder, has to automate or has to manually be mapped and configured to what specific regarding records you want to use in the application. That's also nice because then you could leave subfolders alone and you could put emails into those specific folders and then those items would not necessarily be tracked in the application when you're working through it from there. So this will have to be set up and configured after the uh, after server side synchronization has been set up at an organization level. Another item worth noting is you'll notice I have a folder here called CRM mail that does not actually have any regarding record associated with it. That is also absolutely an option. So rather than saying that emails have to be associated with a specific regarding record in the application, I could just create a folder called CRM mail, for example, use that as a catch all. And then any email that I put into that folder is automatically going to have a CRM activity record created for it and tracked in the application just at an application level, but not at a specific regarding record level. If when you come in here, you notice that none of these options are available or it tells you that you do not have it configured yet, please see your administrator. Your administrator will have to set it up at an organization level. And for that, refer to our previous video on administrating folder tracking for Dynamic CRM 2015. So now that everything is configured, let's go back and see how you're actually going to consume it from an application standpoint. Now, again, you don't necessarily have to have the Outlook client installed because it's done at an exchange level and at a folder level. As long as those folders exist and you have access to them via your email client, you can move an email into that folder and have it automatically tracked. Now, for our purposes, we'll use Outlook just because we happen to be in the application. But if I want to go ahead and take this email from Tony and I want to associate it with 123 company, I just move it over into the 123 company folder, and now that email will eventually be tracked. It's not necessarily going to do it right away. It'll take a little bit to synchronize on the back end, but once it's been synchronized, I will get the exact same icon that I normally get from a tracking standpoint within the application. Once an email is tracked, the same functionality that you've used in the past will now apply to that email. If I wanted to untrack that email for any possible reason, I could right click on it. I could choose untrack and it would then remove tracking from the application. Now, a couple of other things to note is if you have an email that is currently being tracked in a folder and you move it to another folder that is not being tracked, it is not going to automatically untrack the email. You will still have to remove tracking from the email in that situation by either hitting the untracking button or right clicking on it and choosing untrack. Now, if you move that email from one folder to another folder and 
that folder has tracking configured on it, it will then reparent that particular item into what the new item was for that parent. So removing it will still give you the option to delete the associated email activity in the application, but physically moving it to a folder that is not being tracked will not actually remove it. There will still be that manual process when you're working through it. One final item of note, an individual user can have no more than 25 tracked folders associated with their email profile. So if I were to go into email and configure folder tracking rules, I can have a maximum of 25 folders in here mapped to regarding records. And that's a limitation that you do need to very much be aware of within the application. Now, 25 is still quite a bit and it's pretty easy to manipulate things if need be to accommodate within that 25 folder limit. But even even with that 25 folder limit, there's a lot of flexibility that the email folder tracking provides you as an end user. And I think you'll, you've seen that as we've moved forward with this demonstration and past demonstrations. So again, email folder tracking is a wonderful option to gain a little bit more control at a folder level of tracking dynamic CRM email. Again, my name is Derek Borman and thank you very much for watching.